Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing the main individual savings accounts, commonly known as ICES, in the UK. If you're interested in finding the right ICES for your financial goals, you're in the right place. So, let's dive in. The first question you will ask yourself is what are ICES? ICES stands for Individual Savings Accounts. It is a tax-efficient savings and investment account available in the United Kingdom. ICES allow individuals to save or invest money without paying income tax or capital gains on the returns generated in their ISS. As an example, if you had a value of 10k invested and it increased by 1k due to interest or capital gains to 11k, you would not have to pay any tax for that increase in value. Now imagine this 1k increase compounded over multiple years, you then have a tidy sum in your account that you do not need to pay any tax on. For the recent tax year, you are able to save and invest up to £20,000 into your ISAs, which can be invested into one type or across the different types of ISAs covered in this video. As an example, you may want to put £15,000 into a cash account and £5,000 into a stocks and shares account. The decision is entirely yours and should reflect your risk and investment appetite. There are different types of ISAs, including cash ISAs, stocks and shares ISAs, lifetime ISAs and junior ISAs, each with specific rules and benefits tailored to different financial goals. Let's go into detail for each one. First up, we have cash ISAs. These are tax-efficient savings accounts where you can deposit money up to a certain limit each tax year, and any interest earned is tax-free. Cash ISAs are ideal for those who want to keep their savings in a safe and easily accessible place while enjoying tax benefits. Note that some cash ISAs require you to have your money invested for a certain time period, such as one year or two years and in return you get a fixed return over that period such as 5%. Most major banks and building societies provide cash ISAs and have fairly competitive rates. Overall, cash ISAs offer tax-free interest, easy access to funds and capital preservation with lower risk. However, they often have lower interest rates, limited annual contributions and the potential for inflation to erode the real value of your savings over time. Next, we have Stocks and Shares ISs. These ISs allow you to invest your money in a variety of assets, such as stocks, bonds and mutual funds. The returns from these investments, including capital gains and dividends, are free from income tax and capital gains. It is important to note that the value of your ISs goes up and down based on the performance of the underlying assets, and there is a risk you could actually incur an unrealized loss on your investment. The important word being unrealized, the loss only ever becomes realized when you actually sell. Therefore, stocks and shares ISAs are suited for those comfortable with some investment risk and aiming for higher potential returns. Overall, stocks and shares ISAs offer the potential for higher returns through investments in stocks, bonds and funds. They provide tax-free growth and are suitable for long-term goals. Diversification can spread risk. However, there is higher risk involved due to market fluctuations, no guarantee of returns, and you could lose money. Stocks and shares ISAs are not really suitable for short-term needs, and there may be fees associated with managing investments. Another type of savings account in the UK is the Lifetime ISAs, often abbreviated as LISA. It's designed for two purposes, first-time home buyers and retirement savings. With a LISA, you can contribute up to a specific limit each tax year, and the government adds a 25% bonus on top of your contributions. It's a fantastic option if you're looking to save for your first home or boost your retirement funds. You must be under 40 to open a LISA, and the maximum you can invest into it each year is capped at £4,000, which contributes to your annual £20,000 limit. As mentioned, each year the government will give you a 25% bonus for whatever you have invested into the LISA, which is capped at £1,000, as the maximum you can personally contribute to your LISA is £4,000 annually. The only real downside for the LISA is that you cannot withdraw money from this account unless you're buying your first home, aged 60 or over, 
or terminally ill. If you withdraw money for any other reason, you will pay a withdrawal charge of 25% and thereby forfeit the government bonus you have accumulated. Lastly, let's talk about junior ISAs. These are specifically for children under the age of 18 and are opened by a parent or legal guardian. Similar to cash ISAs and stocks and shares ISAs, junior ISAs have an annual contribution limit. This limit is £9,000 per tax year and the money in junior ISAs belongs to the child and can't be withdrawn until they turn 18, giving them a head start on their savings journey. This limit of £9,000 can be split whichever way you like between the two types of junior ISAs, the junior cash ISAs and the junior stocks and shares ISAs. It is important to note any money put into junior ISAs does not contribute to the £20,000 allowance you have as an adult, which is separate. And there you have it, a breakdown of the different types of ISAs available in the UK. Before deciding on the ISAs right for you, make sure to assess your financial goals, risk tolerance and investment horizon. Remember, ISAs offer valuable tax advantages, helping you make the most of your hard-earned money. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.